Hello everybody, this is Ray Ogilvie from Hartsville, South Carolina. Look at the size of this mushroom. This is an oyster mushroom. There are several types of oyster mushroom. This particular type is the pearl oyster. All of the oyster mushrooms are edible and considered to be quite tasty. This one would be a feast. Now this group happens to be growing on the side of a dead hickory tree and that's how you'll often find them. Growing on the side of some type of hardwood tree. Oyster mushrooms are fairly easy to recognize. They have fan-shaped caps that are smooth and white to light brown in color. They grow in shelf-like clusters. And as you can see, they can get quite large. They have gills, and this is a key identifying feature. The gills run all the way down the stem. Here in the U.S., there aren't a lot of mushrooms that could be easily confused with the oyster mushroom. One mushroom that looks superficially like the oyster mushroom is the angel wing. Angel wings were once considered edible, but whether or not they should be eaten has recently come into question. So it's probably a good idea to familiarize yourself with these. Like oysters, angel wings grow on the sides of trees, but angel wings grow on conifers. Like oysters, angel wings have a white cap, but it's a brighter white than the white seen on oysters. And the cap is smaller and thinner than that of oysters. Also, angel wings grow in the fall and summer. Some species of oyster mushroom grow in the warmer months. But the pearl, the one we're looking at here, grows in the fall and winter. On a winter day like today, it would be very unlikely to find angel wings mixed in with these. Another mushroom that somewhat resembles the oyster is the mock oyster. But its cap has a noticeable orange tint to it and is fuzzy. The mock oyster is not known to be poisonous. It just tastes terrible. Like most edible mushrooms, oyster mushrooms are both tasty and nutritious. But there are some harmful mushrooms out there. So never eat a mushroom unless you're 100% sure of its identity. If you think foraging for mushrooms might be something that would appeal to you, you may want to consider joining a mushroom hunting club in your area. That way you can benefit from the knowledge of more experienced hunters. This would make hunting them not only safer, but more fun. <laughs>